the Daily Mail, don't know if you saw this, uh, the Daily Mail uh, balked a couple of days ago that GPs, your general practitioners, your local doctor, uh, they might be on the lookout for climate change anxiety, guys. Climate change anxiety, which is a real thing, by the way. Don't know if many people are aware of it. It's where you might get um, you might get panic attacks. Uh, you might get sleepless nights. You might get apprehensive chest, you know, sort of breathlessness as you're worrying about what kind of country or planet your kids might end up inheriting from you. It's climate change anxiety, guys, is what the GPs have termed it. Or common sense to the layman. You could also call it that. Common sense. But yes, GPs are diagnosing and managing cases of climate change anxiety. And the male are upset by that for some reason, aren't they? I never really worked that out. It's like the male's core sensibility, the one that the rest of them are all like broken off of, like a spider diagram, is like, don't, don't bloody help them. Isn't it? Don't help. Why are you helping them for? Don't listen to their problems. What, what on earth are you playing at? You're bloody doctors, for God's sake. This is, this is almost as bad as the teachers teaching children how to brush their teeth properly. It's just disgusting. Why is everybody trying to be so nice to their fellow man? Why is everybody trying to be so helpy? Now, now, anyway, park that for a minute while I go away and then tell you what a lovely Christian country this is and how we all definitely still share Christian values. There we go, it's after me! Well, could you could you help this this guy over here? Sorry, sorry, which one? Who, who, who do you want me to help? The, the, this guy over here. He's an asylum seeker. And uh, this other one over here, he's one of those, you know, hard up, struggling from deprivation, working class white boys that you always bang on about. Whenever we talk about white privilege, you always wheel people like this lad out as an example of why we shouldn't talk about it. Right, so I'm sorry, I'm lost. What, what do you want me to do? I w do you want to help either one of them? No, no, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, how, how very Christian of you. Well, this is the thing about being a Christian. Is sometimes when people ask me for help, whether it's a refugee or a struggling white working class lad from a state school, I just do this. I, I, I just, what, what do you do? How do you get out of it? I, I just do I, I ask myself, what would Jesus do, aid? Okay. And um, what do you think Jesus would do if he were presented with a hungry, deprived 13-year-old boy and this desperate asylum seeker here. What do you imagine Jesus might do? Ah, well, that's that's a clever part, Aid. You see, what would Jesus do? Jesus doesn't exist. So he wouldn't do a fucking thing. <laughs> would he? That's me off the hook. Anyway, if you excuse me, I've got some constituents to abandon for a week in Milwaukee. 